Hi, the look that we're going to do right now is called La Primavera, going into the spring. I'm Leslie Espinoza, and this is Elena, and we're at Fashion Group International New York City. So right now I'm going to use Smashbox High Definition Foundation. I love this one just because it goes on very clean. I always get compliments when I wear it, so it gives a nice smooth surface. And since we're going to be doing a really creative look for today, make sure to get the foundation all over. So eyelids, the cheek, sides of the nose, and underneath the chin. So you're going to go all over. And then I'm going to use my Studio Fix as a powder with a brush. And I like to use a big fluffy powder brush just to make sure we get enough to set the liquid foundation and again, to create a nice, smooth canvas. So we're going for a creative look with the eye color today, and I'm simply going to use a color called Orange by MAC, and we're going to be applying it all the way up to the eyebrow, going to be blending all the way around, and blending it into a different placement for cheek color. We're gonna have fun with this today. So from having a nice clean foundation underneath the eyeshadow, that's what the color is going to stick to. And that's how you're going to make sure you can get a nice even color. Because then if you have the foundation underneath and it's not blended, it can get kind of streaky and spotty. And that's also why when I'm applying this orange color, to kind of pat it on and get more of an opaque color. So underneath the eye, the look that I'm going for is a very soft line to look up. So I've already made my shape going across, then blend down on the edges. Then blend out on the edges. So if you really want to be bold and you're going to you know, a theme party or you're dressing up, I think it's just fun to be able to push yourself to you know, wear makeup and not be afraid to not put it on a normal way. And you know, living in New York City, sometimes, you know, if you just feel like dressing up and being crazy, then it's okay, you can. <laughs> now I'm going to go with a cheek color called Frankly Scarlet by MAC. And since again, we're doing a creative makeup, we're going to go around and blend where you would put like a highlighter or a bronzer. And since you have the nice blended edges from the eye color, then you can go in and mix it together. Kind of doing this C shape around the temple and the top of the cheekbone. If you want to do something with, you know, really cool lashes with feathers, or they've got paper lashes now, that would be a really cool accent to do on this look as well. So we're going to continue. So now that you've done like this nice watercolor effect, just blend all your edges with a big powder brush. And now I'm going to go with Max Fluid Line Black Track Eyeliner with my flat brush. And I'm going to line all the way around the eyes. What I'm doing with a stiff eyeshadow brush is blending that cream line. So that's the bottom. And now I'm doing the top. I'm just kind of pressing gently right behind the lash line. On the other side, again, same thing, right behind the eyelashes. And then going over with the stiff eyeshadow brush just to give that line very, very soft, blended feel. I'm just going to go over with MAC eyeshadow in Carbon, right where I already put the cream liner, but just to give it a really cool effect of the eyeshadow. Not just the line, but you get a bigger edge to it, rather than just having the cream liner. And then I'm going to do that to the top as well. So what I'm doing is just going over with the orange color and really blending it out. So all of the lines and all of the colors 
they match, so you don't have some hard lines around the eye, everything's soft. I'm gonna go with a very soft brow color. So I'm just gonna use an eyeshadow in MAC called Cork. And then just using short, quick strokes to really do a soft line. Again, because we're going for very soft, but we're going with bold colors. Next, I'm gonna use some mascara, just Maybelline Great Lash. I'm gonna do both the top and bottom. And for this look, you can use as many coats as you want. The more I like. <laughs> So just keep working the lashes until you coat every single one of them. So for lip color, I'm going to use a lip liner called Ruby by Cargo. And then I'm going to put a gloss by Kors called Fuchsia. Always make sure that you have a nice sharp pencil so you can draw really nice shapes around the mouth and get into the corners here. And then after you line the lips, fill them in because that is what's going to give the lip gloss or lipstick something to stick to. So after you line the lips and after you fill in the lips with a lip liner, apply some of your lip gloss. And what I'm going to do to kind of match this glossiness, I have an Aveda um, Uruku color. I put them in my own little palette. But you can kind of dot some sheen around the edges. So this way you don't see any hard edges. Everything looks like a watercolor. Painting. All right, so here is our creative look for today, La Primavera.